What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado and this is Torado Racing. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install a Vicrest carbon fiber steering wheel with LED display in your pre-2015 Challenger. Now, if you got a steering wheel without the LED display, you can follow this video and just skip that step. So let's get started. All right, guys, the first step is to open the trunk and locate the battery underneath your trunk mat. You're gonna to wanna to disconnect the negative battery cable and wait about 30 minutes for all modules to power down. The next step is to locate the two 10 millimeter bolts behind the steering wheel. You might have to rotate your steering wheel to get both of them out. Once you pull them out, the next step is to remove the airbag. You want to remove this plug on top of the airbag and the two airbag plugs. Squeeze the plugs on both sides and they fall right out. Once you remove the airbag, you're gonna to wanna to remove the bolt at the center of the steering wheel. It's an H10 bolt. Once you remove this bolt, you are going to want a new one to replace it. If you have cruise control, you're going to remove this plug and of course your main plug. Once you've unplugged it, safely remove your steering wheel and snake the harness through the steering wheel. Remove these four Phillips head screws to remove the back of the steering wheel so you can swap over your factory steering wheel backing. Now I removed this because I have the cruise control option and the steering wheel doesn't come with a slot to insert the cruise control module. This is from the OEM steering wheel. You can see the pocket for the cruise control module right there. There are two Phillips head screws that go right here for the cruise control module. Make sure you remove those. The next step is to remove the two buttons on top of your new steering wheel. Just take a flathead screwdriver and safely pry along the sides and it'll pop right out just like so. Once you've removed it, unplug the back and snake the wiring through the hole. Do the same thing on the other side. It doesn't take much pressure, just a little bit of leverage and it pops right out. Do the same thing to your OEM steering wheel and swap over the harness. Now I had to do this because the main plug was different from the one in the new steering wheel. Now take your OEM harness from your old steering wheel and install it into your new steering wheel. Once you're done, plug everything back in and the buttons clip right into place. Put your OEM backing plate back on. Put in the four Phillips screws back into the steering wheel. Control module and put it into place. You'll notice there's not a bolt hole in the front, but we have a fix for that. 
put the two Phillips screws in the back of the module to hold the module in place and drill a small hole and use a zip tie to hold it in place. Now we're ready to install. The next thing you want to do is locate the white wire and connect the red wire to that. Locate the brown wire and connect the black wire to that. All right, so this next step, I always solder my wires together, but you can use a little bit of electrical tape. Uh, in my case, I just tend to drive a little more intense and I don't want any wires coming loose and having to do this process all over again. You can get the same solder from a Lowe's or a Home Depot. They're about 20 bucks and it comes with everything you need to solder the wires together. Once you're done soldering the wires together, just put a little electrical tape around it and you're done. Next step is to locate your smart box for your LED steering wheel and of course the harness to connect to the smart box. Simply plug in the smart box in the back and you're ready to go. This extra wire is used for the horn, but we don't need it, so just tie it up and zip tie it. To install, simply plug the smart box and harness into your OBD2 underneath your dash. Reinstall your steering wheel. Connect your airbag back together. Once your airbag is in place, make sure to put the two 10 millimeter bolts in the back, back in the back of the airbag, and now you're ready to test. Now the last step is to reconnect the negative battery cable. Uh, it might be good practice to test the steering wheel before you put the airbag back into place, uh, just to make sure all the lights light up. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Now the last step is to look through the instructions so you can set up your steering wheel to your liking. Now if you guys like these videos, leave a comment below, hit that like button, and if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Till next time guys, peace out.